welcome back. It is Monday, Monday. My shirt says pow, because it's pow, pow. It's Monday. <laughs> and that's how I think of Mondays. I think of like slay the day, never miss a Monday, like get it girl, like, you know. And here's the deal, I used to be a Monday hater hater. Like I was such a Monday hater. I was like a Sunday, woe is me, wah, tomorrow's Monday, where's the weekend? Like I was that kind of girl. Um, for a lot of years and all of a sudden one day I got really convicted about why do I not like Mondays and what is that serving me? Where is that getting me by choosing to not like Mondays? And so anyway, um, today I want to talk to you about your Monday weight loss attitude because believe it or not, your attitude does determine your altitude. Your attitude is going to determine how well this week plays out for you. Um, period. End of story. I, prior to having kids, um, I, I was an entrepreneur in another field. I had stores and offices and all of that, employees. And we had an award called the ARC Award, A-R-C. Attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? Like, do you have the kind of attitude that brightens the room when you walk in it? Or do you have the attitude that brightens the room when you leave? Including, and it's a, here's the thing, it doesn't matter who else is in the room. Even if it's you, yourself, and I, like just you. Your attitude affects how well uh, you will do things. And your attitude is the biggest contributing factor to how your week is going to go. Look, we're never going to be able to control all of the circumstances going on around us. We're never going to be able to control everything everybody else does, but we do have complete control over ourselves. And so, um, if you have not, make sure to click the subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our weight loss tips, our fit tips, or our healthy recipes, and give the video a thumbs up because <laughs> I know some of y'all, I've already, you've already been like, Carmen, this, I thought this was about weight loss. I'm telling you, it is. So, okay. If you rewind six and a half years ago to when I was 288 pounds, morbidly obese, topping the scale, bust at 288 pounds, busting out of a size 22. Um, I was such a complainer when it came to working out, which I didn't do very often, when it came to dieting, when it came to eating clean, when it came to all those things, like I was such a whiner, a wiener, a whiner. I was not a winner. <laughs> I was a whiner. And so, um, and I would totally say things like, oh man, tomorrow's Monday. I got to go to the gym or tomorrow. Oh, I got to eat those carrots or I got to drink this shake or I got to do whatever. And I was never intentional about my attitude. My attitude was one of those things that would be directly affected by all the external things that would happen to me. The scale, me stepping on the scale was a big one that would definitely, definitely determine my attitude in a second. I could be having a great day. I get on the scale and I'm like ready to like, you know, go murder a frog or something. Anyway. My attitude was definitely, I was not in control. I would, I had given over control to everybody, everything else besides me. And so I had learned this through business. And when I decided to start losing weight again, uh, you know, recommitting and hoping and praying that it would work and I could eventually have one of those before and afters and be one of those small people. Um, it was like, okay, Carmen, you need to get control of your attitude and you need to decide because I would always end up, I would hear all these people say, oh, if you have a good attitude, you can't have a bad week. You can't have a bad month. Well, I had had a bad decade when it came to weight loss. Like I had been trying to lose weight for a better, more than a decade. And I was still 200 <coughs> and 88 pounds. Are you with me? So like I wasn't I certainly wasn't slaying. And so I was like, what are you talking about? But here's what I learned in business. That when you're coming, if you want to have a good week, you have to decide it's going to be a good week before the week even gets here. So like my, our family's week starts on Monday, right? If I wait till Monday and my week is going to be dependent on all the external factors, 
all the external factors, everything else and everybody else that's around me, well, my attitude's going to be, you know, it's, I'm going to be like a tree in a windstorm. Whoosh, whoosh. But if I make up my mind Sunday, that it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what lemons life throws at me. It doesn't matter who's a jerk. It doesn't matter what unexpected happens if the air conditioner breaks, if a kid gets sick, if my husband's in a bad mood, if my boss is in a bad mood, if all of a sudden I get a work project or if this or that or insert all the stuff that you have going on in your life. Um, COVID-19 happens. We don't know if the kids are going back to school. Are they going back to school? Our jobs are this or that. There's always something going on. But if you make up your mind, you are in control. What kind of attitude are you going to have on Monday before Monday shows up? Because when Monday gets here, you better know coming into Monday what kind of attitude you're bringing with you. Because again, if you're waiting to see what Monday throws at you, and then your attitude is going to be determined on what how Monday acts, good luck. Good luck. I lived a decade like that and I'm sure I'm not the only one. It didn't go very well. It ended in failure. It ended in frustration. It ended in being sick and tired of being sick and tired. But when I started taking control of my own attitude, when I started getting into the driver's seat and driving that baby, driving my attitude like it was a car, I started to win. I swear my results started to change. It's not waiting for a good week to happen to you. It's making a good week happen for you. A good week doesn't happen to you. You make it happen for you. And when you're in control of your attitude and you're making, you are being deliberate about choosing, hear me, choosing to have a good attitude. Not waiting for it to happen, choosing it. Being in control of it. When life throws you a lemon, sometimes I'll tease my husband. I'm like, man, you just let that lemon pelt you right upside the head. I'm like, "Uh uh-uh, baby. Life wants to throw me a lemon, which it will. It's called life. It doesn't go on my timeline. I'm going to catch that lemon. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to make lemonade. And even if it's unexpected and the lemon hits me and knocks me down, it didn't knock me out. I'm going to get right back up. And so like it's Monday. It is Monday freaking morning. And this week, I know there's going to be some monkey wrenches thrown in life. I know there's going to be some lemons tossed my way. I know everything's not going to go according to my plan because we live on planet Earth. But here's what I know. I know that I'm going to slay this week. I know that I'm going to slay today. I know that I'm going to knock this week out of the park and that even if I get a lemon thrown at me and it unexpectedly hits me, I'm going to pick that baby up. I'm going to make some delicious lemonade and I am going to roll with it. And any stumble, anytime I do get knocked down, I will not be knocked out. I will still stay on track. I will still stay the course. I will intentionally have a good week period. And there is nothing that can happen that can derail me from that. There is nothing in life that's going to happen that's going to stop me from having a bad week this week. Period. Why? Because I'm in control and I get to choose. And it's such a difference. You know, I'm sitting here talk as I'm sitting here saying these things, like so many times I'll think of like the old me, So like six and a half years ago, the 288 pound me, the more of the obese me, like so many times I'll imagine like sitting there talking to myself, like if I was on the other end of this screen, the former me, part of me would have thought I was just some skinny fit chick full of crap because I was seeing things through my old eyes. When I started to change, I'm telling you, and this is one of those things that I would have been like, what do you mean? Choose your attitude. Well, what if this happens? Well, what if that happens? Look, life is guaranteed to have crap happen. Guaranteed. You're not going to get out of this life without it. Those that are succeeding, it's not that they have less crap thrown at them. 
they just deal with it differently. It's not that they have less stress. They deal with it differently. They don't have it easier. They just deal with it differently. And when I stopped, it was that realization. And I stopped using the things that were happening to me as an excuse for my bad attitude, as an excuse for my do it tomorrow attitude, as an excuse for my blowing in the wind attitude. And I proclaimed what my attitude was going to be. See, there's power when you say, it's Sunday. Tomorrow, <laughs> Monday, get ready, baby, because you ain't got nothing on me. I am going to slay it. Slay the day. I'm going to slay the day. I'm going to slay the day. And when you come into Monday with that attitude, I'm telling you, nothing, nothing, nothing can stop you. As somebody who, as somebody who has lived and walked in both shoes, Look, this isn't me talking to you about this, and I haven't walked in the other path. I've walked down both paths. I've walked in both shoes. One kept me stuck, stressed, striving, struggling, riding the struggle bus every day. Like I was like on that struggle bus, riding it <laughs> to succeeding. And this was one of the major things that changed. So what is your weight loss attitude? What is it? Are you in control? Are you in the driver's seat? Or are you where I was? And you're letting everybody else control. Everybody else drive your vehicle that you're supposed to be driving. And so anyway, um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. I feel like I could say a whole bunch more but I'm not going to. That'll be in another video on another topic in another day. So make sure to check out some of our other videos. We really do all these tips that we, we upload videos four times a week here on the channel. And they're all things that have helped me go from a failure at weight loss to succeeding. Things that have helped my hundreds of clients from around the world, um, gosh, over, a th over thousands of clients at this point, um, from around the world have similar results. Um, yeah, so... Make sure to check out some of our other videos and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.